What's up, Tim Sykes here in Australia, working to save the reef. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about how, you know, taking care of the reef and taking care of nature is very similar to taking care of your finances. I know it might sound crazy, um, but it's true. Uh, you have to really be careful, and we're not doing a good enough job with nature. We're not doing a good enough job with most people's finances. So. I want to help you and I want to help nature. I mean, this is why we have Save the Reef. Pretty crazy, we just got savetherief.org. I am here, look at this place. This is my view from my hotel room here in Port Douglas. Highly recommend uh, the Grand Sheraton or the Sheraton Grand. I'll post a link just below this video. They have the fastest Wi-Fi that I have ever encountered in Australia. Australia is not known for their Wi-Fi. So I'm excited to teach. I'm excited to trade from here. Uh, the sun is just setting, we got done with the reef today. The stock market actually opens at night here. So you can literally trade from anywhere in the world. Let me ask you, are you ready to trade from all over the world? Leave a comment just below in this video. Say yes, say no. Um, that's what I love a lot about this job. It allows me to focus on my charitable pursuits with Karmagawa and now Save the Reef. And it allows me geographical freedom. I'm not saying that you have to go all over the world. You don't have to stay up all night here in Australia. It's a little tough, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but I love it, you know? And that is, to me, what trading is all about. It's not just about the money, it's the freedom. So, how do we actually take care of the reef? How do we take care of your finances better? Well, the reef, I'll give you one tip right now. There's a whole bunch of stuff that we're gonna um, expose and document in a little bit, but one tip, um, use reef safe sunscreen. Most of the major sunscreen brands are actually really bad for the reef. They have chemicals that are killing our coral reefs. And I know many people think, oh, the reefs don't really matter. I don't go to Australia or you know the Philippines or the Seychelles or the Maldives where a lot of the reefs are. But guess what? 50 to 85% of all of our oxygen is created by marine life, not just trees, okay? There's a lot of stuff underneath the water. And it's also sometimes called like the rainforest of the sea, which is what coral reefs are. So we need to protect the coral reefs better. How does that relate to trading? I know that might be a stretch, but guess why the reefs are dying? Because we did not take precautions. We did not take care. We took it for granted. And it's very similar in the stock market. Too many people think, oh, I'm gonna be your next millionaire student, Tim. How? How hard are you willing to work? Okay, it's not just about finding the hottest pick or the hottest technology. Picks and alerts and technologies don't really matter. It's preparation, it's knowledge, it's planning ahead of time. You cannot over plan in the stock market. Just like now with reefs, we cannot be overly safe. 30 to 40% of all reefs have already been destroyed. 70% are gonna be destroyed basically by 2030. 90% are going to be destroyed by 2050. So we have to really start acting. And for you and your finances, I don't know. You know, every single person watching this is slightly different, but we know 90% of traders lose. We know that 70% of investors fail to beat the S&P 500 every year, which just makes like eight to 10%. So the vast majority of people are not getting rich in the stock market. Why? Due to lack of preparation. We're killing our reefs due to lack of precautions. We're killing our finances due to lack of preparation. So let's not make that mistake. How do you prepare? Um, I already told you about how to take care of the reefs. Just with one tip, I'm gonna give you more tips later on. But you know, mainly I wanna teach you about the stock market. So how do you prepare? Number one, before you ever buy a stock, have a plan. Set what is your risk level if the plan goes bad? What is your goal? What is your reward? Don't just say, oh, I think this is a good company. I think this is a good stock. Look to make a certain percent, okay? And use past performance. Use like a past high as resistance because yes, stocks can break to new highs, but it's better if you just say, hey, let's say I'm buying this stock. Ah, my arm's getting tired. Sorry, I'm not used to these iPhones, videos. Let's say the stock is at $3 and a year ago the high was $6, okay? No matter what type of news is coming out, it probably is not gonna double and break that $6. So even if you think that the company is worth $50 a share, use that past level as resistance. So no matter how positive you are about a company, say, okay, the stock is at three, the previous high is at six, that's my goal. Um, and then if it has trouble at six, you know, you double your money and you get out. That way, before you risk your hard-earned money, you have these goals. Likewise, if you buy the stock, you know, it could be any random stock at $3, and you're wrong for whatever reason, it doesn't go to six, it doesn't even get to five. 
What if it goes to $2.50? So now you're down 50 cents a share on $3. That's not good, that's like a 15% loss. Cut your losses quickly. Rule number one, you shouldn't have a 15% loss. I would try to even cut it at 30 cents, which is a 10% loss. So have your goals before you risk your hard-earned money. And this is very simple stuff. You can get very much more complicated with goals and saving the reef, but I do like getting you guys thinking. Um, I'm also gonna include a link just below this uh, to a guide that I think that you should read. Um, it teaches my seven main indicators. We all want to just buy like simple things. Like people say, oh, Tim, the news is good. Let me buy the stock. No, there's other indicators. Or you might say, oh, Tim, the stock is breaking new highs. Let me buy it. No, there's other indicators. I'm not saying that this is rocket science, but there are a few indicators that you should be paying attention to. In this guide, um, just below here, I'm gonna uh, tell you about those indicators. Pay attention to them, okay? I'm so sick of people being underprepared when they risk their hard-earned money and they wonder why they lose. They wonder why 90% of traders lose. So I don't have all the answers. I'm not perfect, but I do know the rules and I do know the indicators and I see what is going on with the reef. I see what's going on uh, with probably more traders than anybody in the world. I don't think there's anybody else who communicates with as many traders on a daily basis as I do. It's, it's, a, it's a gift. Uh, I'm very blessed, but it's also a great responsibility. With great power comes great responsibility. Spider-Man taught me that. Um, so I want you to do better. Um, I'm very proud of the fact that I have five millionaire students already. I'm very proud that my students are you know, making more than they're losing when they follow their rules. Um, but I can't help you if you're gonna break my rules. I can't help you if you have the wrong mindset where you say, oh Tim, I don't need these rules, just give me a hot pick. Okay, so I don't want you making that mistake. I'm trying to coach you, I'm trying to teach you because I didn't have a coach, I didn't have a mentor, so remember, I'm always trying to be the mentor to you that I never had, and I'm sorry this iPhone video is shaky, I probably need a selfie stick, but as you can see here, here in Port Douglas at the Sheridan, freaking beautiful, beautiful view. There's like a whole lagoon, it goes all over the place. Um, so I'm just happy to be here, and I'm happy to be helping the reef. So also go follow um, Save the Reef on um, Instagram. We're gonna have it on more things, but literally just Save the Reef on Instagram. It's pretty crazy. No one has that username. Um, I think it's just such a problem, like a lot of people don't wanna tackle it. Um, and the same thing with trading, like why even get into it if 90% of traders lose? Well, 90% of small businesses fail too, so why should you ever start a small business? Anything that's worth doing is gonna be hard in life. That doesn't mean that it's impossible. And especially if you have guidance and rules and a mentor, it gets easier. Um, so that's what I'm here for, whether I have a shaky hand or not. Um, but leave comments underneath, start a conversation with me. You know, first of all, I told you to leave a comment whether uh, or not you wanna trade from anywhere around the world. I'm curious to see how many travelers we have out there. And like I said, you know, the Sheridan here in Port Douglas, for example, has great Wi-Fi. Um, and Mykonos Cabo Tegu has fantastic Wi-Fi. Um, I was just in Singapore at the Marina Bay Sands, very good Wi-Fi. None of these companies pay me uh, to say this. I just wanna show you guys where I go because they're all freaking beautiful places. Cabo Tegu in Mykonos, Marina Bay Sands in Singapore, Sheridan in Port Douglas, Australia. Um, I highly recommend you able, be able to go anywhere. It's fantastic. Whether you wanna save the reef or you know, the Marina Bay Sands has that famous pool on top of the hotel, um, or Mykonos has just amazing seafood and great beaches and parties, whatever you're into. Um, but always bring your laptop or smartphone. You know, Always be ready for trades. It doesn't matter where I am. My eyes are a little uh, small right now because I'm literally staying up, not all night, but a lot of the night to trade. And I still made a few thousand dollars from here. That's what's kind of cool. So while a lot of people here are, you know, they, they plan a great, re great barrier reef trip like once in a life or, you know, every few years, or maybe like a big birthday or milestone, I can come here. Today's a Wednesday. Um, it's kind of cool to be able to work from anywhere. So I like that. But again, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think and be prepared and let's save the reef together. Let's save your finances together. That's what this is all about. I'm here to help. That's what really uh, you know, gets me motivated every day. Just like with the reef, I'm here to help. It's not enough just to say, oh, it's nice what you're doing for the reef, Tim. No, I wanna solve this problem and I wanna make more millionaire students. Success is what motivates me. Cheers.
Hey, Tim Sykes, Millionaire Mentor and Trader. Thank you for watching my videos. I hope that they help you. I wanna share everything that I've learned over the years. You can check out more videos right over there. And also click subscribe so that you can watch all of these videos, get that knowledge, and become my next millionaire student.